reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, on whose hand I grasp, subduing nations before him, making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name, given you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other, there is no God beside me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not. And, and, and that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, there is no other. Verbum Domini. Give the Lord honor and glory. Give the Lord honor and glory. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Tell the glory among the nations, all among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Give the, the Lord glory and honor. For great is the Lord and my highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods and the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Give, Give the, the Lord glory and honor. Worship the Lord in holy attire, tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the people with equity. Give the Lord glory and honor. A letter from the first, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Savannah, and Timothy, to which the church of the Thessalonians and God the Father, and Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love, endurance in the hope of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ before God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and the Holy Spirit, and with much conviction. Verbum Domini. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shine like the lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Dominos Rabiscum Lexio Sancte Evangelii Segunda Mateum. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent his disciples, they sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you're a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you're not concerned with anyone's opinions, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then he handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, On whose image is this and whose subscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. Verbum Domini. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, so everything belongs to God, right? Everything belongs to God. And indeed, more than anything, since everything belongs to God, what most belongs to God is our obedience, our obedience. And whether we like it or not, God, Jesus, tells us that we must obey the civil authorities, right? Now, there's a caveat there, all right? Obey the civil authorities in all things but sin, right? Um, and that would be because if we obeyed the civil authorities in things that were sinful, we wouldn't be giving to God what belongs to God, right? We, we, what belongs to God is all things good, right? Uh, money, taxes, um, is, is not of God. Uh, it is allowed by God, right? If it was up to God, we would just all take care of each other, right? There'd really be no need uh, for money. We would just self-sustain sustain each other, right? Um, 
But, you know, this is a very hard teaching. We don't really think of this as a, as a really hard teaching, but it is. It's a hard teaching that we have to uh, give some allegiance to all, uh, earthly authority. But this is one of the ways that God humbles us. He humbles us, right? Making us bow down to people like Joe Biden, right? Nancy Pelosi, these people who defy their faith. Because believe it or not, as much as they're completely decadent, immoral, corrupt people, in terms of anything that is just, we have to obey them, right? Now, of course, uh, it comes down to the more corrupt and uh, immoral somebody is, all right, the easier it is to rationalize that, no, we don't have to obey them. And uh, indeed, I think it's to the point here in the United States, I said this in Ireland, that the governments are basically illegitimate, illegitimate. They have no moral authority to rule over the people. And if that's the case then, all right, that we run into illegitimate governments, then the only way we can give to God what belongs to God is standing up to these governments and calling for the downfall of these governments, the downfall of the corruption, the downfall of the immorality, right? Um, and yet we're not doing that. Right? We're not doing that. So we're not giving to God what belongs to God, right? Because much of what these governments are all about and what make these governments illegitimate, illegitimate are attacks against God, attacks against morality, the murder of God's children, the mutilation and moral corruption of God's children, right? The uh, desecration of uh, anything that's religious, conscience, or otherwise. Um, and we can't allow that to happen. So we really should be standing up and giving a lot less to Caesar than what we're giving. Standing up to Caesar, all right, because in not doing so, we are not giving to God what belongs to God. And this is something I think that uh, is never talked about, never spoken about, but I think is something that is an ongoing discernment.